Okay, so I'm excited to say that I have received my sample of this product called Hydrofiber. And Hydrofiber is the same as Cocoa Core or very similar. The benefit of Hydrofibers is um, that, well, they, they claim a lot of different benefits, so we're going to kind of test those out today. Um, but one of them right out the bat is for those of you who are environmentally conscious you have some concerns about obviously um, peat moss um, it's actually also not a good ingredient to include in your potting mix on its own and then some people still say that cocoa core also even though it's a derivative of a product a byproduct like coconuts there aren't enough coconut production really to warrant the amount of cocoa core that people uh, need and also the the um, working conditions for people in those factories um, can be subpar um, according to some of the claims. So what we have here is hydrofiber and it has 40% um, I believe, cocoa, it's either 40 or 60% cocoa core and then the rest is a synthetic uh, man-made um, core product. And supposedly this has higher um, expansion than cocoa core and it still comes in that compressed brick form and it has um, better moisture retention and and other benefits so on so these are both um, they've already been decompressed so to speak or expanded so here is your traditional cocoa core you can look at it here and as you can see it's really nice and airy i squeeze it in my hand and it really doesn't hold together that much but it's very like see how much I can compact it like that when I squeeze it that means that it's got a lot of air space in between those little um, areas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it and see what happens see I should have also done this test with peat because peat doesn't want to absorb the water but see how quickly that just absorbed it all very nicely and evenly. And it's still like crumbling pretty quickly, but it did soak up all that water quite fast. Alrighty, so now let's try the hydrofiber. Wow, and I don't know if you could tell in the video, but this just went straight in there. And um, I do notice first off that this is clumping and holding together. So that tells me that it is retaining a lot of water quickly. So it's still maintaining a relatively fluffy consistency, but it is sticking to each other and it's holding kind of that ball shape. So, you know, this is telling me that that water is really getting in there and getting soaked up. So um, this feels a lot wetter, I guess I should say, for lack of a better word, than does the cocoa core, which stays very crumbly. So overall, I'd say that this hydrofiber definitely has some differences in its characteristics. It's clumping together more than the cocoa core, but it seems like it's a really good alternative if you want to be more environmentally conscious. We definitely will try it out and do some more experiments using it as a substitute for cocoa core um, when repotting. And then we'll do some compare and contrast videos in the future. If this is something that is going to, to be um, even a comparable product, not even better than this, but just if it's comparable, we will definitely start utilizing this because of its um, environmental um, impact. We'll have less of a less of a negative um, connotation associated with it. So then, also our customers can buy and know that they're buying the most ethically friendly, earth-friendly products available. And that's why we're always like to test and try new things. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and please like and subscribe and feel free to um, leave a comment or a question below and we will definitely answer all of those for you. Thanks. Bye.